Hi, welcome all of you on your PDA education and you are watching the series of videos on joint PhD programs between uh, various IITs and the uh, uh, some top uh, global universities and in that I think we have already uh, now uploaded one video on IIT Bombay and Monash University. You know this uh, joint PhD or uh, PhD in collaboration is actually a program in which a student will get enrolled in uh, IIT that is for PhD program and uh, when he will be doing PhD in IITs then he will also go to uh, some foreign university like uh, in Australia or some another country and spend one year or so in that university and work, will be working on the same problem on the same project under two professors maybe one in India and another in that university. Now advantage of this, this program is obviously international exposure and when you go to that country you get scholarship uh, uh, in that country and post doctorate fellowship opportunity and other such career opportunities you get uh, 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 through this joint PhD programs. Now to get into joint PhD programs you know your uh, uh, research work should be really good like uh, these are offered in IIT Madras so there are so many foreign universities in which this is offered and uh, uh, you should have basically really impressive work uh, and uh, the professor in that university foreign university should also uh, be basically working in the same domain in which you are working and uh, work done by that professor and in IIT should be same something like that has to be there and uh, then obviously uh, if you apply then you get opportunity but in this there is only one uh, one particular uh, hindrance I will say sometime the professor in IIT under whom with whom we are working he may not be interested uh, for you to go abroad so uh, you need to consult your seniors that with which professor should I do PhD or project so that he sends you abroad also because it is very much decided by your guide in IIT that he will send you for joint PhD abroad or not so if your work is good if you are doing good work and your professor is also uh, ready to cooperate and send you abroad and spare you for one year then you can go for such kind of programs that is the meaning of it now uh, in today's uh, video I am going to discuss with IIT Hyderabad and Swinburne University of uh, Swinburne University of uh, Technology that is I think in Australia Melbourne so this is the joint program uh, let me tell you those of you who are BTEC and 8.5 for general category and for other categories less than 8.5 CGPA and get merely qualified can apply in this I am saying can apply in this but then you can you should have really good project or research work proposal with you and normally in these joint PhDs they already they uh, tell you in advance that these are the projects in which we want people so if you have worked in that domain if you have worked in that area and the project requirement is similar you can apply and we will keep on telling you what are those projects similarly BTEC uh, if you are from IIT NIT BTEC no gate is required but your CGPA should be good for general category 8.5 for other categories it is proportionally less if you are already MTech or if you are MSc and or if you are MDES then CGPA is only criteria gate is not required so those of you who are already MTech uh, they need not to have gate those of you who are from IIT and IIT graduate need not to have gate those of you who are from other colleges BTEC they need to have gate but merely qualified gate this is how it all goes this is the eligibility criteria and uh, the projects uh, as I told you we will be discussing the projects now last date of this is over in April itself but in the winter also uh, sometime this uh, PhD inductment is twice in a year as you know so winter also there is opportunity so I will be discussing with you what are the various universities where we have opportunity for that you know this uh, is <coughs> this basically IIT Hyderabad Swinburne University of Technology joint doctoral program <coughs> and uh, this is what we are going to discuss and uh, this is for four years so after BTEC this is a four years and if you go and if you type on um, you know, this particular you will get this details of this universities this joint program and this university is also and QS ranking may this university is 321 not very high in QS ranking but in some departments it's doing really good job so that is the uh, basically advantage of this and uh, this is one year you are to be in this particular university and the other uh, you are to spend in IIT Hyderabad only eligibility I've already told you what is the eligibility uh, uh, for various uh, students whether you are from IIT NIT or from other normal colleges 
that I have told you. And yes, financial assistance is given. You are given the scholarship once you are in India and you are given the scholarship once you are in SUT, uh, this university. So that will be provided to you. As I told you, last date is already over now. That was in April. But winter admission also opportunity is there and we can wait for that. Just keep in mind that these are the opportunities for us and we are to... Uh, explore uh, joint uh, PhD programs, different universities, different IITs. You need to see the list of the projects which I will obviously share with you. And the projects remain same because if one project is going on, it keeps on going on for a couple of years. It is not that this semester of another project and after six months project is changed. It is normally not, not like that. So projects keep on uh, going for years. So those of you who are genuinely interested in these kind of joint PhD programs, they should first see what are the, what are the various projects uh, going on in IITs. And if you have profile similar to that or if you are in BTEC and want to make profile something like that, then the probability of getting admission in these kind of joint pro PhD programs is very high. And the way you are preparing for these joint PhDs, similar preparation is there for uh, PhDs in European universities or some another universities. You have to make, a, uh, you know, a presentation of your project. You have to make a very good research proposal, a cover letter. So those things are going to be same. And I have discussed with you some of the cover letters. So that is going to be same. And on that line, we have to proceed. So this is all about uh, uh, IIT Hyderabad and SUT University joint program. Keep watching other joint PhD programs also so that you get a list, you, you have a total list with you that okay these are the joint PhD programs, I am to apply for these pro programs also. One good project and your good knowledge in that project will help you to get into this particular project, especially for students those who have done very good project. Hope this helped you, keep watching other joint PhD programs also. Thank you.